Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda and this is a week in my life. So I figured I would do another week in my life, couple days in my life, as this is just going to be a bit of a busier week. So today being Monday, it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, literally rolled out of bed not that long ago, took a quiet moment to have my coffee, and now I'm getting as much meal prep as I can get done this morning. So Jason has to head over to the salon. Our weekend was really, really busy because we ended up redoing one of the rooms at the salon. It just needed a full refresh, coat of paint. So because of that, what we normally get done on a Sunday just didn't get done. So a lot of meal prep has to happen today. Jason's got a salon day, so he's gonna be leaving here any moment now. In saying that, uh, it's a bit of a rushed morning, so he did some juicing. The kitchen is a bit of a mess. Uh, just because our weekend was so busy. We didn't take time to do a tidy last night and The juicer has a lot of parts that need to be cleaned and dried and all that so I'm gonna get some meal prep done this morning. I'm going to clean our house Today I'll also be filming a video on how to keep your house clean so that it doesn't end up looking like this on a Monday morning But I'm excited to have you guys come along on the ride. Before we jump into this, please do me a favor, go down below, hit the subscribe button. As I'm growing my channel as a 2022 goal, it brings me so much joy to go through my channel, see how many people are coming on this journey with me, seeing how many people are viewing my videos, replying to comments, it all makes me so happy. So take a minute, go down there, Hit the button, I appreciate it so much. And join me on this bright Monday morning. I'm the type of person who literally can't get anything productive done in the kitchen if the kitchen is a mess. So before I get too deep into meal prep, I'm going to take care of these dishes, the distiller, and get everything put away. So I went outside a couple steps. The sidewalks are just sheets of ice. It is, it is unbelievable. I ended up having to come in, put my cleats on my boots, and then go back out there and sand everything. And it's so funny because the banks of the sidewalks are really built up. So 
Dexter is trying to get his footing so he can do his business and it just was not was not happening so got that done i have about 18 minutes left until the vegetables in the oven are done so i'm gonna take that time to get ready all right let's go check on that meal prep actually before that i need to make Make the bed. So as you can see, we are still on just a mattress on the floor, even though it's about mid-January. Sleep Country got a hold of us and they're still having supply issues with the bed frame that we want. So they've now given us a new delivery date of February 18th. So here's to hoping that in a month's time we have a bed frame. Fingers crossed. I'm so excited. I'm tired of sleeping on a mattress on the floor. Okay, now we can go check on the meal prep. It smells so good in here. There's just something about roasted vegetables. So I got some work done, the chicken finished cooking for at least one of the meals. I've got a fresh tabbouleh ready to go. This, this week's meal prep, we have three different meals, which is what we typically do every single week. So this week we have a chicken shawarma with fresh tabbouleh. We have a general Tao chicken with rice, and then that's where the roasted red peppers, broccoli, and what else did I put in here? Zucchini. So that will be a meal. And then I have a vegan pasta made with butternut squash. So that's probably going to get made tomorrow, just for the sake of like not doing all of our meal prep and having all of it go bad by the end of the week because then we won't want to eat it. But I've cooked the shawarma chicken. I've now chopped it up. I prefer warm meals, especially because it's winter time. So I put the chicken separate so that it can be reheated before putting it into our bowls. But each of the other bowls can now be meal prepped. So I'm gonna do that. Enjoy! What are you doing up here? Oh, you having a lazy Monday? You want to do some laundry? No? 
All right. What you doing? Oh, you're so cute. You're just a good boy. I love you. I love you. So it has been a couple hours now since I picked up the camera. I got two meals done, as you would have seen them, go into the fridge. The kitchen is clean. The only thing still sitting out are any of the appliances that were still warm, like the Instapot. I got a whole bunch of work done. I just finished wrapping up a Zoom call with Jason and Ben, who is our mentor in our financial business. Then I also got a call from his wife, Tiffany, that we are speaking on an elite training Zoom call this evening. So that's going to be really cool. We get to talk to a group of several hundred different agents across the country. So I'm really excited about that. In saying that, I do have a few things that I need to get done before that call this evening. So in the next four hours, I'm going to finish up some laundry. I might actually do some yoga just to unwind. I'm feeling a little bit tired midday today. So I'm going to go do some yoga, make that a priority, take a little bit of me downtime, and then be ready to go for the second half of the day. All right, yoga time. Stillness. Sit up nice and tall. Today is day two of the vlog and it's been a really busy day. It's already about three o'clock and I'm only just picking up the camera now. This morning I did some shoveling. We tidied up the house. Today was a pretty busy work day. I did a bunch of follow-up for some clients, followed up on a couple transfers. I did a personal development course uh, just about money and abundance and attracting more and discovering limiting money beliefs so that you can attract more money to yourself. I absolutely believe in doing these personal development courses all the time just because it keeps you aware of the things that might be limiting you in your life. I placed an Amazon order, so I'm super excited for that to show up. And then our new plates have been delivered to uh, Jason's parents' place. Our address doesn't exist with Bed Bath & Beyond yet, just because our neighborhood and our house is so new. So those are going to be showing up here any moment now, and I can't wait to unbox them. So here's the irony of this situation. This time we actually want dinnerware set. I don't know. We've been getting some interesting things in boxes lately. What was the first one? Let's recap for the people who haven't seen it yet. We ordered a vacuum, and what did we get? Really ugly dishware set. A <laughs> dishware set. And then we ordered a dishware set, and what did we get? A broken coffee craft. Yeah, like a thing that holds coffee, a glass thing. It was, looked nice, but it was broken. It was very broken. But it came in a box bigger than this. Yeah. With a bunch of those big blow-up plastic things. So now these could be anything. These could be anything. Ready? Yes. Ready? Let's open it. You first. This one, I think, is dishes. We feel like there's a weight. There's a weight difference between the two boxes, so. I feel like this one's heavier, she feels like that one's heavier. I feel like I lifted this one first, so then this one felt lighter because that was naturally stronger. <laughs> More expecting. Oh. Those look like dishes. Those look like, these look like the correct dishes. 
So we like these because we were really, really, we really wanted the flat plates with like a bit of a rim. And then our second thing that we really liked about this set is that the bowls were nice and deep. Oh my God. Ooh, those are cool. <laughs> How freezing is that feel? It's like the ice cubes are in here. I think there's frost on them. You can see my like, fingertips on it. So this is the smaller bowl. This would be like your cereal bowl, something like that. They're stackable. And then this would be like, oh, awesome. Pasta bowl. It is freezing. <laughs> yeah, this would be like your pasta bowl, uh, stir fry, I don't know, poke bowl, that kind of thing. These are beautiful. And I'm sure Linda will give you a close up of these after, but they almost have like a speckle to them. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Whoa. Super low profile, so if you have less storage area. The bowls might be a little aggressive for people. So these are from Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, the reason we chose these over somewhere else was first that the style was kind of in line and the pricing, yeah. We looked at another company called Fable, who also has very, very nice, handcrafted in Portugal, super nice, but they were like triple the price. And actually, these, we were gifted a gift card for Bed Bath & Beyond for Christmas, so actually, these dishes that we had full intention of buying ourselves, they actually ended up being a gift, which is really, really cool. Yeah, super stoked. And then we have just another box. Yeah, it's so the same. we're gonna check and make sure nothing's broken, but in terms of what you're gonna look for if you want these exact same dishes at your uh, home, is you're gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond, look for Our Table brand, which I think is their brand if I'm not mistaken. And this white version is called the Landon. They also have... The line is called the Landing. Yeah. This color is called the Sea Salt. Got it. So Sea Salt is the color. They also have a black with kind of like a dark black speckle. It's like a charcoal color. And then I think they also have a couple other ones. I think there's like a mint. Oh, maybe. Or like some like a pale greenish color, but I'm, don't, uh, what? I will share the link below. And if you love these, you can go and get them. They are a very popular dish set, it seems, because they're always out of stock. These were back ordered two weeks, actually, before we could get them. But I'll leave the link below so you can see all the different colors that are there. That pretty much wraps up Tuesday. We are jumping on some agency training here. Right away, Jason and I cooked the pasta for meal prep. We got to eat it out of our brand new bowls. The kitchen is cleaned. Now I'm just enjoying a little bit of cuddles before I head upstairs for training. Jason's going to be teaching tonight, so I get to just sit back and enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, day three of this week. It is Wednesday. Today was a bit of a slower morning. I laid in bed and read for about an hour, which was really nice, not gonna lie. I got a little bit of work done this morning. We actually took the pup out. We were gonna play with him with the his little frisbee squirrel thing. And then we accidentally threw it over a fence and it's still so cold. Anyway, I took the dog back home. Jason found someone who could let him into the fenced off construction area to get the toy. And then I came back in and in a rush, cleaned the kitchen, everything near the front window and our bedroom because we think window people are coming in to install blinds today. The reason I say we think is because I wrote in Jason's planner while I was on the phone with them that it was today. But in my own planner, I put it 
a week later. I'm optimistic, hopeful that it's today. It's really bright and sunny, so it'd be great to have blinds up in the kitchen window before the sun comes around that corner. So hopefully this video includes somebody installing blinds. That would be really cool. Twenty minutes later and all of our blinds are in. We went with Winkle Blinds. It was a company that actually our realtor recommended them. So we had them come out, they did a quote. And then we had a few other companies come out and do quotes and everyone else was easily three times the price. So our realtor recommended them. The price was really good. I trust that if he's willing to recommend it to us and all his real estate clients, then I trust that they are good and they did not disappoint. We ordered the curtains on Friday. They came in on today, Wednesday. And they installed all three sets of blinds in 20 minutes. Super fast, super excited, absolutely love them. So the blinds that we went with ended up being middle of the road. They had a less expensive one that looked significantly less expensive. They had a more expensive one that really was just kind of glittery almost um we preferred the ones that were not glittery and that ended up saving us 100 bucks going with the middle of the road i don't think we would have noticed a difference in terms of the material or the quality the blinds we went with are what they call zebra blinds so you can see that you can basically either have Full coverage, half coverage, or you can roll them all the way up and have no coverage. For us, I think blinds are a little bit more utilitarian. So going up into the you know three thousand dollars plus for blinds just really didn't make sense for us. Um, I don't think I would notice that big of a difference. Um, only because we're just using them to block out light and not, especially above the sink, we're not putting curtains um, per se because I think it would just get too dirty, especially in the kitchen. Um, so for us, we saw the value in getting something that was a little bit more affordable, but also looks great and works with our house and kind of blends in to what we have going on currently. So I'm super happy with them too. Like I said, so our Wednesday has been pretty uneventful to be honest it is so dark outside and so cold outside and jason's now upstairs he is doing an appointment actually it's a client of his that reached out their business is expanding they're looking to purchase a few more properties so he asked for a little bit more life insurance so that as their business grows, him and his spouse can help mitigate some of the risk. So Jason's doing that appointment, but I think that's pretty much it for Wednesday. It was very chill, very calm. I did get another video filmed. That one is gonna be going up on, at some point before you're seeing this. So if you haven't checked that one out, go see it. Basically, I'm talking about how to keep your house clean, how to keep it looking, you know, just how to keep your house low maintenance. So that was productive. That's been on my list for a couple days. But otherwise, I think I'm going to go relax. I'm going to keep reading my book, uh, have some dinner, feed the dog, 
that would be pretty much it. So I will catch you on Thursday. So then it turns out that Thursday and Friday got really busy. I didn't have a chance to pick up my camera to continue this weekly vlog. So instead, here is a video of Dexter after his bath drying off. Thank you for subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye!